welcome to MacroCode. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to continue with our .NET MAUI series. So today we are going to unravel .NET MAUI and the MVVM architecture. So in the ever-evolving landscape of mobile app development, uh, .NET MAUI emerges as uh, one of the powerful solutions that empowers developers to creating stunning cross-platform applications. So on today's video, we are going to understand more on .NET MAUI and MVVM architecture. So what are we going to do? So on our previous video, we created uh, our sample students app. So today we are going to announce this app and actually create a sample page and be able to see how we can be able to use uh, MVVM architecture. So MVVM architecture is, is just not a random uh, uh, thing to say, but it's a clearly designed architecture that promotes a clear separation of concerns and enhances a code organization. So if you break down these uh, MVVM, you'll get the model uh, view and the view model. So the model uh, represents the data and the business logic of the app. The view is what the users see and interact with and the view model is the mastermind behind the scenes. So I'm going to create, so I'm going to create a folder here called the pages. So, so this is how our app looks like. So for those who are new to this channel, so we created this app on our uh, sample on our series previously. So we are going to enhance this app and be able to see how we are going to implement uh, MVVM architecture. So if you come to app shop, I'm going to uh, have this, then I'm going to have a flyout item. So I'm going to have a flyout item. So let me just do this, then undo. Then I'm going to say this is a flyout item. Then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to. Close it here. So that is, uh, I want us to have that. So this will be our own page. Then I'm going to have a students list. So I'm going to create another page called uh, students. 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 Students list. So that will be our title. Uh, then I want us to have a uh, a folder called uh, pages. So let's remove this. So there we go. So let me zoom this so that you're able to see clearly. So on pages, I'm going to create a page called, uh, so this is .NET Maui content page. So I'm going to create a page called uh, students list so this is students list then this page you can see i have my xaml then xaml.cs file so on my xaml file this will be my students page students list will be my title then i want to have this page so i'm going to copy this page on our app shell so this will be our main route but now you can see we are getting something here so we need to add this so we are good we are going to add these as pages so it is actually under pages so this is uh, now we have the root the students list so I usually want to have my pages named as students list page then uh, let me just yes let me rename the other one i usually have, want my page to have the page keyword so i usually prefer it that way so i know my app will bring problems but to edit it i'm going to edit then go to edit project file so i want us to rename it here you see we have the students list XAML. So 
I'm going to come at the top here. We need to have it here as well. Students list page. This should be now fine. You can see we don't have an error. So after we've named this, I want us to come to my program.cs file. I want us to add our page there so that we are able to see how it goes. So on this section, I want us to add our, our page. So here I'm going to say builder.add builder.services.add uh, transient. So I'm going to add our page. So just add our page. So then we need to import, we need to import our, so we need to import our pages. So that is how we need to add our, our pages. So we've just added there. So after we've just added this, I want us to come to, so if you come to our page here, I think we need something here, sorry. So the students page list, this has been renamed now to students page. So you can see this is a students list page and it is under students. So if we launch our app, we should be able to see that our students page, we should be able to navigate to our page. That is students list page. So this is, uh, we are going to demonstrate the implementation of MVVM in .NET MAUI. So this, I, I'll actually recommend this approach when building a mobile app. And the main reason is uh, it actually off, offers uh, several advantages, one being separation of concerns. MVVM enables a clear separation between the UI, the business logic, and the data. So these separation stacks uh, actually makes the code base more maintainable and allows for each easier collaboration among uh, developers. So we also the stability of the app. The MVVM pattern promotes the stability by decoupling the UI from the underlying logic and developers can write a unit test for view model classes without needing to, without actually the essence of interacting with UI reason, and it and this will actually result in a more reliable and efficient testing. So that is how our app works. So another thing with the MVVM is allows a code uh, reusability. So with the MVVM, the view model and the model layers can be used across platforms. So, so this is uh so this is now our app so list page this should be our root i don't know why it is so then here we should say students list so i can allow this so if we do that let me relaunch this so So this is our app. So so let's wait and see. So for those who are new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching some of our previous videos. So this is a implementation of uh, MVVM on .NET Mac. So we have our page, which is a list, a students list page. So as it creates, we can actually create, uh, we have this other folder, uh, view model for our students page. So we are going to call these students. So our app is launching, students list page, then put in view model. So this will be our view model. So I'm going to have this as public, public. So there you are. So let's see our app. So that is our app launching. So let's see. So you can see this is our students list. So this is actually the page that it has actually opened. So if we come to our, so I've just updated my app. So let's, let me launch so that you're able to see. Just uh, updated some styles. So this is how my app shell look like. 
So I have my students, I'll call these students up. So I have my students pages. So just made my so we have the students students list and this is the navigation. So let's wait and see. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So I have my view model here. So I can actually create a constructor. So my uh, there you can see you can do that. So this is my students list view model. Let's see my app if it has launched, not yet. So let's wait and see. So this is our app launching. So you can see. So this is my app. So at the top here you can see this is how it looks. You have macro code app students list and uh, you are able to see these uh, list so so i want us now to add uh, another page i can call these uh, so i want us to bind these uh, our our main page to these uh, to this app so what we need to do, come to our students. So I want us to do something. I want us to do public. Then I want us to put in the class. Then I want us to import this. And you can say this is a VM. So then I want us to say this is equals to VM. We can put in as model. Want us to bind it, so you can do this model. Then you can close this. Then here you can also do this dot binding context. This will be dot binding context. Then you say is equals to VM. You can also do is equals to model. So assuming you want to use this uh, model, this student's model, you can actually reuse it down here. So on some instances, you may want to do something when the app appears or disappears. So if I just do this, then uh, let's go to our app shell. I want us to add another class here for the home page. Instead of navigating directly to the, to the students, we do home. Then we say home. Then this will be home. Then you can say so this will be home. You can say main page. So if we do that, this will, will ask us to do that. Then we can do this as local. So then this will do as local. Then we can say main page. So the, we'll have now our our main page as the first entry point. So our main page will be the landing page. So this will be our landing page for the app. So then you can have the title on this app. You can say title, then we do a students app. So that is our app. So if we do that, so our app actually is on .NET 8. So we've actually done this on the latest stack, on .NET 8. So let's see how it goes. So we've actually done this on .NET 8. So for those who are watching, so we are going to build this app on .NET 8 and uh, try to come up with something amazing so if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and watching some of our previous videos like the video comment down below so let's see so our entry point you can see so we have the macro code and students so if we do that you can see our app breaks so why does our app breaks 
So we need to do something. So copy this uh, view model, then come to my program.cs. So I'll do here, this will be the pages. Then you need to do here view models. So you'll need to do builder.services, then we now have our view model and you need to import it. So if we now launch, so this is now, we have our view model here. So if we launch our app, I think we'll now have binded. So we have actually do the binding. You'll see this now the binding. You can actually also do away with this. And this, we just remain with this. So if we just launch our app, everything should be fine. And now we can bind the data from our view model here to our, can bind the data from our view model here, sorry. From our view model here. So any data that will be here, we can actually bind it to our list page here. So we, we can be able to see this on our next video. So for those who are watching this uh, channel, consider subscribing, like the video so that you're able to help us more, reach more people. And if you love the video, comment and subscribe. So see you in our next video. So let's see first if our app launches. There you go. Let's see, let's see. There you are. So app has launched. So let's see how it looks like. So you can see these are students app. Then we have uh, now macro code. When we click students, it will now take us to students and we can go back to home. So that is, uh, so that is it for today. So we are going to see some styling on our next uh, series. Uh, bye and.